Good morning, friends, and welcome to another edition of Wise World. We're excited because we're going to begin a series on Flagstaff, Arizona, all the wonderful adventures near the wonderful city of Flagstaff, Arizona. This is exciting for me because I was born and raised in Flagstaff, but my boy Whitey here has never been to much around Flagstaff. So we're going to start off with Sunset Crater National Monument, and we're going to go from there. So as always, sit back, relax, enjoy, drive safe, and we'll see you on the road. Thank you for joining us. Boy. Taken from the VisitArizona.com website. Plan a day trip from Flagstaff to Sunset Crater National Monument to see how an early eruption nearly a thousand years ago left behind a unique geologic formations and destroyed ancient structures built by native peoples. In approximately 1085, the earth shook, rumbled, and cracked with great force. Lava and ash from a violent volcano spewed into the air, covering pit houses and farms built by the Sanagua, ancient Puebloan people. When the lava bubbled up and cooled, it turned rocks into silver cones and lava bombs. Erupting sometime between 1040 and 1100, Sunset Crater is the most recent in a 6 million year old history of volcanic activity in the Flagstaff area. This cylinder cone reminds us of the powerful forces that shaped the earth. Forces that have created more than 600 hills and mountains in the San Francisco volcanic field. These mountains have in turn affected the climate and habitat for all things living in the region. Taken from the National Park Service, U.S. Department of the Interior. Formation of a cylinder cone. Cylinder cones, such as Sunset Crater, are formed during early explosive stages of an eruption. Magma, a mixture of molten rock and highly compressed gases, rises upward from underneath the source. As the magma ascends, the extreme pressure drops and the gases are released. A high percentage of gas in the magma causes an explosion out of the central vent. Solidified rock pieces of various sizes fall to the ground around the vent, creating a mound or a cone. Magma with a low gas content produces lava flows that may issue from the site of the bases of the cone. The process that created Sunset Crater also created a sculpted garden of extraordinary forms at its base. As new vents opened, spatter cones sprouted across the ground like miniature volcanoes itself. Partially cooled lava, pushing through cracks in the crust like toothpaste from a tube, solidifying into wedge-shaped squeeze-ups, grew from scraping against a harder rock. The entire vent may have lasted six months to a year. In a final burst of activity, red and yellow oxide cylinders shot out of the vent and fell to the rim. The color glow from these cylinders reminded people of a sunset and led to the volcano's name.
What is now a 1,000 foot high volcano began to form when molten rock sprayed high into the air from a crack in the ground, solidified and filled the earth as large bombs or small cylinders. As periodic eruptions continued, the heavier debris accumulated around the vent. The lightest, smallest particles were carried the furthest away by wind, dusting 800 square miles of northern Arizona with ash. Perhaps as spectacular as the original eruption were the two lava flows, the Cayena and the Bonito. They destroyed everything in their path. Your entrance fee to Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument includes admission to nearby Wapaki National Monument. Follow the scenic 34 mile Wapaki Scenic Loop Drive to get between the two parks. At Wapaki, you'll hike past prehistoric villages built nearly 900 years ago, including the largest freestanding Pueblo in Northern Arizona. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Whitey's World. Today's adventure took us to Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument, located conveniently outside of the wonderful city of Flagstaff, Arizona. Please take a look at our other videos that highlight the many adventures located near the wonderful city of Flagstaff, Arizona. We look forward to seeing our next adventure, and as always, plan ahead and please drive safe.